How does our veterinary staff examine a gorilla? Very carefully. It is February 2008 at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, and 20-year-old Macolo has been sedated and transported to the zoo's state-of-the-art veterinary hospital for an ultrasound procedure on his heart. Specialists from Michigan have come to assist our staff, an ultrasound technician and a doctor of cardiology. At 460 pounds, Makolo, a western lowland gorilla, must be gently positioned onto his left side at just the right angle to obtain good images of his heart. This accomplished, it is time for the ultrasound procedure to begin. Oh, during the procedure... Our veterinarians, Dr. Lewandowski, Dr. Bonner, and technicians Shana and Chris will be constantly monitoring McCullough's body temperature, oxygen levels, and heart rate. Ultrasound uses high-frequency sound waves and their echoes to form an image. It is very similar to the echolocation used by bats whales, and dolphins. Your mother's doctor probably used an ultrasound machine to take a lot of images of you before you were born to make sure you and your mom were healthy. The technician has placed the ultrasound probe on Makolo's chest and is sending and receiving millions of pulses and echoes every second to record different images of his heart. The probe is also measuring blood flow and how the heart is functioning. After looking at the ultrasound images, our doctors can then prescribe a treatment if one is needed. It is August 2009, and Makolo has just had a birthday. He just turned 22. Because of the ultrasound procedure, his diet has changed, and he was prescribed a heart medication that humans also take. The keepers develop activities that keep him more active, like training sessions. He prefers the apples and banana leaf rewards during training sessions. Perhaps the sign should have asked you, why does our veterinary staff examine a gorilla? The answer is, and always will be, to improve the future for wildlife.